Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time and we're kind of in a transitional phase right now because we're still very much in the thick of moving into this house. So I have a little bit of a grocery haul for you guys as I get settled into the kitchen. And then I thought I would take you with me through my day and show a little bit of what I eat. I will say a little disclaimer. I feel like these what I eat in the days can be a little tricky because I never want, sometimes I watch them and I like really compare myself to the person I'm watching and their diet and everything like that. So I just wanna be clear, like everybody needs different foods. <laughs> Do not feel like what works for me necessarily will work for everybody else or vice versa. This is just an example of like what I have and then I thought the grocery haul might be kind of helpful too. I really wanna start doing a lot more like home content now that we're in our new house and in my new kitchen that I love. So that's kind of what this is today, taking you guys a little bit through there. I do still eat fully vegetarian, although I do eat a lot of like imitation meat, I guess. So. You might see a little bit of that today, but yeah. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 9.30 or so. Um, I had coffee this morning, lots of water in my giant Stanley cup that everybody has to have right now. <laughs> this thing holds 40 ounces, so I get why they are so popular. I need to put my hair up in a claw clip because we are in a heat wave in SoCal right now and this is like, this is the only way. I like, I feel like all the hair all over me when it's so hot is not working for me. So first up, we're gonna do the grocery haul. So I have a little haul from Thrive Market. I'm super excited to share them with you guys today. They are sponsoring this video, so thank you to them for working with me. I love shopping Thrive Market. I've heard about them for years. Look at all these goodies I have to share with you guys. I love Thrive Market because they are a place where you can do grocery shopping all from their website, and it's a membership-based system. So what you can do is set your favorite foods for reorder, so say you know that you have something that you need to restock every couple weeks maybe you don't live near a health food store maybe you have a specific diet you're trying to stick to thrive can accommodate all of that so like i said for me being a vegetarian i also like to do gluten free sometimes i like to do dairy free sometimes you can filter all of that on their website i actually was really enjoying checking out all of the plant-based meat options they have although you can get real meat and freezer section items on their site as well they make it super easy and then you can set all of those things up for a subscription or an auto ship so that they can regularly arrive to you and it takes the planning out of it it takes the trip to the grocery store out of it for busy moms like me and most likely you too that's a big problem solve not only is thrive market convenient but they also will save you a lot of money on average you save 30 percent off grocery prices by shopping thrive and on top of that you know i have a coupon code for you so you can use my link in the description box that will give you 30 percent off of your first order at thrive plus you'll get a free gift along with that and then orders over 49 dollars actually ship free for from Thrive too, so you can do all of your grocery shopping and get free delivery through them as well. So I thought I would go through and show you all the things I got from Thrive. I tried to focus on pantry items because one, I knew this would be delivered and I wouldn't be able to film it for a day or so after it got delivered, but two, that's really what we need stocking up. We have this huge pantry at our new place and our kids love snacks. We have if you're new here that we have a two and a half and four and a half year old and so we are big on the snacks so i tried to get things that would be good for meals and cooking at home but also to stock the pantry a little bit so there's a little bit of everything in here first up i'll just start here because they're big this is like a snack pack i feel like this haul will really give you a good idea of everything that thrive has too because i got a variety of different things i got snacks i got things for cooking a little bit of everything and like i said they do have like refrigerator freezer meat options and everything on their site as well so the first thing i got are these himalayan pink salt snack packs this organic popcorn i actually love this popcorn i tend to buy the big bags and go through them all myself so these are a good option for us and the kids they're a little just better with portion control and making sure my kids don't need a whole bag and i don't need a whole bag but this popcorn is super tasty too. So that will be going in the pantry. Then I got some of these organic coconut wraps. These are paleo, gluten-free, and vegan. They're basically like tortilla wraps, except made from coconut. So like I said, I do try and cut down gluten when I can. I'm not always the best with it, but I do notice my body and my stomach in particular feel better when I do cut it out. 
So I got these as an alternative. I think I might actually make breakfast tacos for breakfast with these. This is another snack option. These are coconut oil sweet potato chips. I love how they have all these bags of different snacks. Cause like I said, just like being able to pull one little bag of chips out for my kids is so clutch or for myself. Like let's be real or for myself. If I'm grabbing one and going, this is great for myself. I also got some of these Simple Mills almond flour cheddar crackers again another gluten-free option i got some riced cauliflower so i really like to get these little packs of cauliflower rice because you can just pop them in the microwave it's like a good plant-based option alternative to rice because rice can sometimes be super heavy for me and not make me feel the best but cauli rice actually sits really well with me i will tend to do like a garden meat or beyond meat um, some kind of like plant-based meat and then this cauliflower rice and it's like a really good chicken and rice alternative for me since I don't eat meat. I got some protein shakes. Like plant protein is so hard to find. A good plant protein can be hard to find. These are great because they are single serve. Each one of these has 20 grams of protein. So that's huge. These would be great for after a workout or if my kids want like chocolate milk and then it's actually just like a protein plant-based milk because they do, they do almond milk as well. So um, I thought that was super cool that I could just get a little pack like this on Thrive because I've seen packs like this at the grocery store, but they don't always have a plant-based option in the single serve pack too. So I love that. Next up, I got two packs of gluten-free shells. When I was growing up, when I was like a preteen, I loved mac and cheese with shells and like the super thick creamy cheese. And I could never eat that now without feeling bad. So I like to do like pasta. I like to do pasta a lot of times that's made from like vegetable pasta or chickpea pasta, things like that. They also have the, um, I think it's called Bonza pasta on Thrive, I noticed, but since I've tried that a lot and I do like it, we eat that a lot. I wanted to try something new this time, so I got this different brand and it's um, brown rice pasta, but it's gluten free and little shells. So we can do like mac and cheese or I'll put it with pesto or something like that. Oh, I forgot. I actually got this to put with it. So this is um, by Daya, which is a dairy free brand. Uh, during the brief amount of time when I tried vegan, I ate Daya stuff a lot. This is their Alfredo style deluxe cheese sauce. And um, one other thing I forgot to mention about Thrive that I really thought was cool is it has reviews. So sometimes for me, because I like to eat healthy, I like to like stick within a certain diet. There's so many brands that like, you know, for dairy-free cheese, for example, it can be really hard to find a dairy-free cheese that tastes decent. Um, and what's cool about Thrive is that everything on there has reviews. And then after you buy things, you can leave reviews too. So I was able to scope out the reviews of the items before I placed my order and just see what other people were saying about them. There were certain things I was interested in and then when I saw the reviews, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna stay away. So that is just like game changing with groceries because Everybody will have different preferences and tastes, but for something like that, that's a little bit more of like a niche, it's great to be able to see what people are saying about it. So this one had good reviews, so I was excited to try it and I'm gonna make it with those gluten-free shells. Oh, another pack of riced cauliflower. I must've gotten three packs. Oh, and I got these bars for the boys. These looked cool. They were fruit and veggie bars, but they're called S'mores Blast. So it also says that for every box purchase, they donate a packet of food aid to a child in need. So I love that Thrive has really cool brands like that. And then I'm able to get snacks for not just me, but also the kids too. Christian started pre-K this week and we did like a teacher parent orientation night and they were talking to us about how important it is to get the kids to eat before school because they're not like retaining things or they're hitting a slump and that is something we're majorly struggling with him with he wakes up and like just wants crackers from the get-go so i feel like a little bar or something for the car might be good for him um, on days when he's fighting us on breakfast okay and then the last couple things i have from thrive are actually like body care items so i didn't know this but thrive market doesn't just have groceries they also have like home items cleaning supplies some body care items like they've got everything on there so it truly is like a one-stop health shop so a couple things that i got i got this cbd serenity bath bomb we have this really pretty bathtub here in our new place we have one at our old place too but i just was bad about using it and i love bath bombs i also like cbd to just like help calm and like help with my anxiety and stuff like that so this one has lavender sandalwood honeysuckle vanilla and rose so to be able to order 
you know, a CBD bath bomb with my groceries is kind of cool. Ooh, it smells so good. I might have to use that tonight. So this one, this is actually a Thrive Market brand. So Thrive Market not only has bigger brand names like Daya, but they also have their own in-house brands. And this is one of them. It stands for For All Everywhere. And so this is a bentonite clay. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a bentonite clay. And it says you can use it on your face or your body. So again, with our tub, I thought this would be really cool to do like a full body like kind of clay spa experience, or at the very least, a little face mask with that. And then the last thing I got is actually, this was a gift with purchase that Thrive Market added in. It was like, it gave you a few options and you could pick a gift with your purchase. So I picked this little set. It's another set of little skincare. I thought I would actually set these out in our guest room. My mom is coming to visit in a couple weeks. So I thought I would put these out as like little travel items for her. So a little shampoo, there's a little facial scrub and then a little moisturizer too. And I'll just like set these all out on the guest bathroom counter. So that's everything I got from Thrive. Like I said, I think I'm gonna start with some breakfast tacos today. If you wanna check out Thrive Market for yourself and save, you can use my link in the description box that will give you 30% off at Thrive Market. Plus you'll get a free gift with purchase too. And now let's get into breakfast. All right, so breakfast is just one of these coconut wraps. I got a little distracted, so it got a little crispy. I'm kind of doing like a little breakfast taco burrito situation. I just have two eggs, a little bit of cheese, and avocado, pretty simple. Just a tad crispy, that's okay. Okay, they're really good. This is like very light feeling. I don't know why I expected it to be sweet because of the coconut, but it's not. It's very good. If I had salsa here, I would put that with this too, but I don't. So. Now I'm gonna go eat this in bed while I watch The Bachelorette. <laughs> Okay, so lunchtime, I have showed this meal in other videos, but I thought I would show it again because it's super easy. I do like a little salad at home. I get this bag salad at a lot of different grocery stores and it's really good. It also makes a nice side for like a bigger meal. And I just add some avocado and I add avocado and then I put these little plant-based chicken tenders in the air fryer. I'll cut these up, but then I put those on here and I add some of this like cashew grated cheese. It's like a vegan Parmesan cheese alternative. I do eat cheese, but this just tastes really good on salads and it's super yummy. Okay, so yeah, I have never used an air fryer before. I actually bought this for our new place because it looks so cute here and I've been wanting one for a little bit. My finished product for the salad, but I used it to make the chicken tenders and I totally understand the hype of air fryers now. Sorry, I don't have a better place to put my camera higher up, but I understand the hype because I didn't have to preheat the oven or wait for them and it was super quick, so I'm pumped. I'll have that link down below too if you guys are interested because I know it's a pretty one, but here we go. Here you go. Yeah. All right. You want me to open it more? Arlo's eating one of those little s'mores bars. Let me see. What do you think? Good? Do you like it, bud? Cheese. Cheese? <laughs> I'm back using my air fryer again, so. Got some Brussels sprouts in there. So it's the end of the day now. Hey boy, Christian, can you show me what you got? See what I got? This is what mine is. Mine. Well, this is my sausage. Sausage is good. Sausage. Want to try a bite? It's the end of the day now. It is dinner time. We're back from school. The boys had their after school snack earlier. We did swim class with Christian. Still looking a hot mess over here, but it is dinner time now. We're outside. Hey, we're outside. Stop it. We're outside grilling. Got daddy over here on the grill. Christian wanted a snack of breakfast sausages while he waited for his dinner to be ready. All right, so last meal of the day. It's dinner time. We're sitting down at our little kitchenette table together as a family. We are low on condiments in this new house because we had a barbecue this last weekend and all of them went bad being outside, but we have, or I have a veggie burger. This is a Beyond Meat burger on a gluten-free bun, a Beyond Meat sausage on a gluten-free bun, seasoned Brussels sprouts from the air fryer, 
some rosé. The secret to these is some in and out spread. That is a tip picked up from Mr. Zappo. <laughs> and Arlo, what are you eating? This. Looking all dirty from that chocolate snack. What, buddy? Spicy meatball. What? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. This is how four year olds eat. Okay, so now it's dinner time. That's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Say bye. Bye.